I tell a story about a real, true love. It's, it's very honest, in a very human way. Visst kan man spela honom som bara en, en macho idiot. I want to tell a story about a young couple uh, from two different countries who fall in love with each other, who want to come together and who cannot. I would not uh, so much be interested in a Pinkerton who just has a little bit of fun and later regrets it. I think that's not really enough and I would also not be interested in a butterfly who is just a little bit too stupid to check that. But when I tell a story where they saw each other and really fell in love with each other and having a conflict because Pinkerton knows that he has to leave Japan and that soon. And what happens if you, if you have a conflict between body and head? Knowing that there is no future, knowing that maybe his future will be in America with another woman one day. But what is one, one day against the feelings of today? And this uh, is the beginning of a, a great tragedy. Framförallt så är det otrolig musik, så det är en fantastisk roll att sjunga. Eh, problemet är att han eh, går ju inte att bort sig från att han är oerhört osympatisk. Men visst kan man spela honom som bara en, en macho idiot. Men jag tror inte att det blir lika intressant. I synnerhet i den här uppsättningen så det, 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 det måste vara på riktigt. Han vet ju samtidigt att det inte kommer att hålla. Men han kan inte heller riktigt blunda för, för, för passionen. Because the emotions of the piece are as, as, you know, as valid today as when Puccini wrote them, uh, um, it's, I think it's impossible not to, not to connect to them, even if you've done it many times, as you know, some of the musicians in New York have played it a lot uh, when it was done the last time, which is some time ago. But, uh, and I think it's also, it's, it is necessary to go through these emotions in order to convey them. But as, you know, as performing, as performing artists, whether the soloist singers, the chorus, or in the orchestra, or me as a conductor, we always have to balance these emotions with, with uh, you know, how we time them. Uh, we, we can't just be completely consumed by them. I mean, we, have to, we have to feed in our, our head with it as well. I think we all interpret our own history or our, our own feelings in what we see. And I think it's more um, the task of, of my work uh, to give space for that. You know, I show not everything because I want that there is space for, for dreaming, for your own interpretation. And so the hope is that that will be an evening what you do not forget. Yeah.